price competition will still be the vocal point. Uh, parcel base in China is already very sizable. It is already four times of that of the U.S., but it is still under very high growth due to the increasing stay-at-home economy in China. Yet the Chinese express delivery market is still relatively fragmented, uh, with um, CDO uh, being the leader, and they are uh, they are going to consolidate the competition, uh, the competitors in the market. Now, um, in terms of, um, uh, we don't think that um, the competitors are as good as CTO in terms of their operation uh, capability and also the quality of service. However, in the consolidation process, CTO will bring down price in order to get market share. The company will clearly prioritize market share to trade off its near-term profits. So it sounds a bit like short-term pain for the long-term gain story. But as they do this, raising in Hong Kong, going to bring in money here, I mean, what do you think the priorities should be in terms of improving that competitiveness and growing capacity? Sure. If you look at um, the use of funding uh, in uh, in the Hong Kong uh, IPO, the company will allocate half of uh, the amount into building uh, the infrastructure of its core operations. So they will still put higher priority on building up its core operations and strengthening its core capability. Um, so that includes uh, a, str a stronger uh, logistic park, uh, sorting equipment and uh, line haul trucks uh, fleets. And at the same time, um, they will also assign a certain amount, 15% uh, of that, into to increasing the uh, operating capability of its network partners, who is actually playing a very critical role in the whole service chain because the network partners are taking care, they are responsible for the first mile and last mile parcel delivery. So they are basically the ones who interact with the clients on a day-to-day -day basis. So we think that this is a sensible move. So they are at the same time uh, strengthening its core operations and at the same time increasing the capability of its network partners. If you were to break it down in terms of revenue potential because they've scaled up market share to almost 22 percent. Where do you see their market, show, market share growing to and also their parcel volume in lieu of all their efforts? What do you see to be the targets there? Right. Um, the company <clears throat> Revised is guided up is a uh, volume target to 17 billion uh, for this year, which represents a uh, over 40. 40% growth year over year. This is significantly higher than the market. We are expecting the market growth, market parcel growth to be around 25% in this tier, and CTO is expecting 43%. So uh, in terms of um, uh, market share increase, um, the company is at the best position to win the competition. And uh, we believe that its market share will continue to increase to about 25% by 2022.